Hello Master Tax here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the tier 10 Russian reward heavy tank. It is the Object 279A. If you enjoy what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So before we get into the action, I'll show you my crew and equipment that I've currently got on this tank. My crew on this tank is the best crew I've got in World of Tanks. Three of them under the 8th skill and my load is maxed out on 7 skills. It is my crew for my Object 705 here. The equipment I use is all Bond equipment. So I've got increased shell resistant, innovative loading system and improved configuration. Also I use a premium consumable food. On failed modifications I have maxed it out so I get a permanent bonus of plus 3% to vehicle hit points, plus 2% engine power, haven't filled with any other modifications. So now let's have a look at it in action. Today I'm playing on Lakeville, it's a standard battle and I've got the 438 matchmaking and I'm top tier today and I'm also platooned up with my brother who's playing the object 277. So what we're going to do is push into the town. If I play this map and I've got a good tank that's got good gun depression and a good strong turret, I always go to the ravine in the west. But since I haven't got the gun depression, although the turret armor is not too bad, we are deciding to go into the town because we'll be far stronger keeping tanks at the same level rather than letting tanks get above us with the gun depression firing down on us. So we are planning on just steamrolling this town. What we're going to do, I'm going to try and push a little bit further forward to my brother. And I'm just going to be the meat shield. So we're hoping that everybody's just firing at me and I can bounce the shots. And then my brother can get shots in without taking damage. So we're pushing straight through. He's a little bit quicker than me, so he's getting to the corner before I have. But I've just told him to stop there. While I push past him, he has taken a shot already. Char Future 4, we're both getting a shot into the Char Future 4. And he's pulling back, wisely so. So I've just taken the corner, trying to get in front so I can take the shot. It was 277, he went out, fired at him. No penetration, but I bounced his shot. So now I'm going to push further forward, really aggressive. Try and draw the fire away from my brother. And since I'm above them, that's what I'm trying to do, get above them. It's really hard to penetrate the object 279E when you're below them. So I'm just breaking the wall so I can see them in a nice easy shot into the 277. And I am above them, so they're really going to struggle now. So I'm just going to push a little bit further in because they're backing off, trying to get out the way. And I'm going to peep around the corner, another 277 shot into him. They've been firing gold, but they're still going to struggle. So I've managed to bounce both shots of gold and now they're both pushing. So I'm going to try and whittle them both down. We need to stop them both from getting around the side of us. And they did track us in position there, but I've still managed to pull back. So I'm safe, safer than if they got to the side of us. Now my brother's pushing in and I'm telling them to pull back. And I'm trying to get in front of him so I can take all the shots. I've got far more hit points than him. He was just trying to get in and help us. So I've told him to pull back, let me take all this damage, wait, all the shots, and hopefully I'll bounce most of them. So 1277 to one shot, and he's been taken out. My brother got a shot in the 277, and I managed to ammo rack him. So there's the end of the two 277s. Now I'm going to try and keep on pushing. Score the T56, which is a good tank, but it's not a good tank against the 279A. So I've bounced and shot from a Leopard 1 and an EAT 15. And now I want to push straight round and get rid of this squad of T56. So I got one shot into him. He's fired one shot. He has got two shell auto loader and he's fired a second shot so I can go in safely. And I thought I'd take him out, but I tracked him, but he has been taken out. So I'm just bouncing shots for fun. Basically, I'm bouncing shots because the armor is excellent on this because you don't have a lower plate. So on the hull armor, I've got 185 millimeters on my top plate, but it is sloped, so it's a lot more than that. And then you get 120 millimeters on the side, 90 on the rear. And my turret armor is amazing. I get 330 millimeters of armor on the front of the turret, but it does have two cupolas, but they are quite small. And then I've got 140 millimeters on the side, 
90 on the rear which allows us as you can see to just keep on pushing forward trying to spot my brother's sitting back a bit he hasn't got many hit points but he's got a big gun so he can still farm some damage another really good thing that i've done to the armor on this tank which is allowing us to play like this using the special improved configuration and the hardening i've managed to get my repair time down to 3.3 seconds using this equipment and then the chance to set us on fire is only three percent so i can play super aggressive and not worry too much about taking shots so we've won this side now so i'm going to keep on pushing see if i can get some assistance as well by lighting people up so as i do i'll tell you a little bit about the gun on this tank and it's 122 millimeters with 258 millimeters of penetration 440 alpha with my crew and equipment i've got my reload time of 8.15 seconds which gives us a dpm of 3237 and also with my crew and equipment i've got an em time 2.06 seconds and then my dispersion is 0.32 but as I said at the beginning, this tank hasn't got any gun depression. You only get five degrees, which isn't the greatest, especially if I went to the west and tried to play on a ridge line, which you really can't do in this tank. So we'll keep on pushing. My brothers flew past, tried to get some final damage in. Can I get some final damage in? So I'm going to have to try and keep up with all these tanks, try and get ahead of them. Uh, which is a little bit of a struggle in this tank because the mobility isn't the greatest you do have a top speed going forward of 40 kilometers an hour and your reverse speed 13 kilometers an hour so i am getting outpaced by all these tanks so it looks like i might have to play this ridge line but the tanks might already have been taken out by the time i get there so i am just going to try and push straight over the 100 still has plenty of hit points so is the emil 2 so I'm going to keep on pushing, hopefully some of my tanks tries to sit back, tries to keep some of the hit points, not get taken out, but everybody's trying to push in, trying to get through, try to get in front of them and get some more shots in, can I get some more shots in, A100, nice shot into him, keep on pushing, can I get this Emil, T77 looks like he's reloading and the Emil's been taken out, A100, and I didn't penetrate the shot, somebody gonna beat us to it can i get the shot in he's been taken out let's have a quick look at the stats it was a class one badge and i got the cool headed which have got to survive at least 10 ricochet or non-penetrating shots in a row I got the Confederate medal, which I've got to hit more any vehicles than any other player on your team, at least six. I hit eight. I got the Steel Wall, which I've got to receive the most hits, at least 11 of any other player on your team, with potential damage of 1,000 hit points and survive. I bounced 15 shots with potential damage of 4,470. I also got the High Calibre for me 5,450 damage with 3,907 assist. Top of the tree for XP with a base XP of 1,423. Top for damage by over 2,000. I made 86,000 credits, that's due to battle payments. Plus 8,967 XP, that's due to playing in a platoon, playing a premium vehicle, a personal reserve bonus and an award for the first victory each day, which was at times 2. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. There's a little icon in the bottom left hand corner. Cheers.